Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Industrial Faith, and welcome to the channel. Also, welcome to my Get Rich Quick, Get Rich Early tutorial. Now, this game is essentially vanilla. I have a few mods. One makes generators quiet, and the others that I have all change graphics. As you can see, it's autumn and the grass is green. That's about it. And I have a fancy vault suit. But I have nothing installed that changes any aspect of the game, loot, drop, scrap, skills, nothing whatsoever. So this guide will work on Xbox One, PlayStation 4, PC, and maybe the Apple version of the game, if there is an Apple version of the game. I have no idea. I play on PC. I don't pay any attention to Apple products. Fair enough. So I've been on YouTube, and I've been looking around to see if anyone has done something like this. And when I see the Get Rich Easy Quick guides, uh, they fall into uh, three, one of three categories. The first two are people using glitches or exploits to gain money that way. Or you have a high-level character that builds an apparatus that generates a lot of, essentially, water. And my thought was, well, do I have to wait till I'm level 30, 35? How quick can I do this? And so I went out and found the answer, and the answer is you can be ready to build this money-making apparatus by level 2. You know what? Let me show you what you're building, and then I'll show you how it's done. This magical device out here, it consists of, well, three industrial water purifiers. And these water purifiers are in turn powered by three medium generators. Hear how quiet they are? It's fantastic. So, how are we going to build this by level two? Well, you have to start off with your first character having a minimum intelligence of six. Why do we need the minimum intelligence of six? Because in order to build the industrial water purifiers, you need, and I completely skipped it there, you need science level one. And that requires intelligence of six. Now, you will get this. You will be able to pick this perk once you make yours a level. Get the level two, essentially. And if you notice, I'm level four, but I haven't used those perks yet. At level two, I was ready to build all this. I gained two levels from building. So what are we going to do? How do we do this? Well, we have our intelligence of six, minimum intelligence of six, which is right there. What's going to happen is we are going to come out of Vault 111. We will come to Sanctuary, talk to Codsworth, run around, look for the uh, spouse and the child. And after that's done, we scrap Sanctuary. I mean everything. Pick it up. Pick up a house, scrap the furniture, move to the next house, pick everything up, scrap the furniture. Once you're done with that, put everything away, put it all in the workbench, and then you're going to come down here to Red Rocket Truck Stop. Now here's the thing. Scrapping everything in Sanctuary is going to get you the materials to build most of what you need. You'll be able to build all the water purifiers and a generator, maybe two, but you won't have either the skill for it, you won't have you won't have made a level, but you won't have enough to build all the power generators. So at Red Rocket Truck Stop, you'll get the dog, kill the mole rats, make your level that way, pick up everything that isn't nailed down, go to the caves underneath Red Rocket, clear everything out, get your bonus fusion core, and come back. And by that time, you'll have made a level. You can then pick Science Level 1, and you can build. So what have I built? Well, I did this to be kind of fancy and nice. I built this enclosure so raiders can't just take pot shots at it from across the bank. And I added the bonus illusion of water flow coming this way. So uh, we're not just generating dank, stank, nasty water that just sits there. And if you somehow find yourself short on experience when you get all the material, build the foundation and that should kick you right over into level two or build the shack first and that'll get you to level two now how does this work well this is already run one cycle so let's go and hit r and see what happens now anything your settlements generate automatically get deposited in your workshop so if we look in my aid my inventory up to water in the workshop we have 87 water okay there we go so let's uh Let's let it recycle. Let's let everything reset and recharge. And uh, let's sleep for 24 hours. And we'll get up about 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. 2287. How do you like that? Do, 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 do. 
17, I thought it was... Hmm. So anyways, the reason I'm showing the sleep here is because I don't want you thinking that I went, uh, that I cut the video and I grabbed a box. You know, I didn't have a box sitting out behind the building full of water that I consoled in and I just dumped it in. Don't want you to see that. Now, here is a little thing. It doesn't work 100% of the time. It's very reliable. I'd say 85% of the time to 90% of the time it works. Let's see if it did. Yes, 86 purified water. Bang. So in two days, we have gained how much? We have gained 173 water. So we're looking at 3,400 in trade value. Now, obviously, you won't get that full trade value unless you have uh, several skills in. Uh, you're going to need max in Cap Collector, level 1 and 2. And you're going to need your Charisma up to level 10 and wear Charisma close. But, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. We, we're wealthy. We can be the new Trump of the Wastelands. We can run around. We can roll into Bunker Hill and make it rain, whatever we want to do. We are not going to be short of money anymore. We're wealthy, and we've done it by level two. And we got two extra levels, which is nice because unlike Skyrim, we don't have to worry about the mods leveling ahead of us. However, allow me to introduce a warning. If we look here in the workshops, we go to Sanctuary Hills, we have a resource count of 120, but no defense. Every raider in the Commonwealth is going to hear about us and come look at them. Now, I don't know what that's going to break down into in terms of attacks, but we actually now have enough money that we can afford to trade for all the weird stuff to build laser turrets and junk like that. So again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me for my Get Rich Quick, Get Rich Early guide here for Fallout 4. I look forward to seeing you in the future. Thank you, have a good night, and bye-bye.